let's move on to a story that just gets wilder and wilder and wilder. Now, the name once, you know, sent hearts above all of our head and now sends a shiver down my spine and to a little piece of my rib, Army Hammer. (laughs) Army Hammer, of course, was accused of rape by several women, accused of wanting cannibalism. I mean, I'll just stop it there. Um, I was telling my dad, I was like, yeah, Army Hammer was canceled. He's like, for what? I was like, cannibalism. So it seems like a great idea to do. Um, but TMZ just got photos that were allegedly taken in June of Army Hammer seated behind a desk at a resort in the Cayman Islands, wearing a polo shirt and holding a pen, um, and seemed to be speaking with people across from him. Now, these photos were super strange because it looked like he was working at this resort. And sources confirmed to us that, yes, Army Hammer was indeed selling timeshares in the Cayman Islands because his family had cut him off. His family has exorbitant wealth, um, but completely cut him off. I don't really understand how he lost all of his movie money because he was in a lot of movies, especially right before the cannibal claims came out. Um, But don't worry. I mean, if you were worried about Army Hammer, which I was not, uh, Robert Jenny Jr. has come to the rescue, as he has with so many celebrities in Hollywood, some we know about, some we don't know about. And he flew Army Hammer out of the Cayman Islands, let him stay at his house in L.A., and even is getting him into a rehab program and trying to rehabilitate Army Hammer. So thank you, Robert Downey Jr., I guess. What did you guys think when you saw that Army Hammer was selling timeshares at a Cayman Islands resort? Very, very strange, as I have felt about this whole story, cannibalism included. Uh, Is he crazy? Is he like just mentally unwell? I don't I just don't know what happened with him. Such promise, so handsome, such an incredible actor. And he just like went way off the rails. I mean, it is interesting that Robert Downey Jr., who notably suffered from substance abuse and was really saved by the woman who he married, Susan, um, that he is trying to help him, which kind of makes me feel like Army Hammer's trying to get sober and get himself like really stay sober and get on the right track. Um, but I don't know what's up here. It's I find it very strange and very disturbing. Honestly, I feel like I never really got closure on the whole Am- Army Hammer situation. <laughs> like those allegations were freaking wild. wild. And he kind of just disappeared to the Cayman Islands and like got fired from all his movies. And like, that's fine. I'd probably do the same if someone accused me of the stuff he was accused of. Yeah. But like, am I ever getting like a documentary? Like, I feel like I need to know more about this. Like I kind of forgot about him. And to me, he was just Serena's boyfriend in season two of Gossip Girl. Like, you know, nothing special, but- um, He was a very special boyfriend in that episode. Yeah, I mean, great. Um, What's his name? Gabriel. Um, Great episodes. It's a second half of season two with Poppy Lifton. But I just, I don't know. It, I feel like there's still so much, even like Elizabeth Chambers is now like out at events again. And it's like, wait, yeah. like- what like have you she never really said anything like i get they have young kids so maybe that's why but like yeah. is the book coming and now tyler cameron is dating Paige, Paige Lorenzo. Yeah. yeah one of army hammer's exes so mm. like that that I, was the closure i needed that actually. makes it more pertinent to me <laughs> but overall like i don't know just very weird but like i guess good for you for like trying to make money for your family after you disgraced their name uh- I, I agree. It seems like an actually stand up guy thing to do, but I, I just can't. I, he did so many horrible things to all of these women that even even though he's sitting at a desk and selling timeshares, I I really have trouble finding sympathy for the guy just because he was such a monster for so long to so many impressionable young women. And I get it's maybe part of the addiction and mental illness. And I want to give him a little leeway for that, but I'm just not ready. Hey everyone, I'm Christina Garibaldi, the host of Us Weekly Celebrity Coverage. Don't forget to hit subscribe for the latest celebrity news, tips, and video. And for much more content, make sure you head on over to usmagazine.com, the official home of Us Weekly Magazine.